Hey, welcome to another episode of Rock Fantasy Files, and we're here with uh, Christian Lindell from yes. uh, the band Portrait, and we're here to talk about the brand new album at One With None, coming out via Metal Blade Records on September, September uh, I tongue tied here, on September 3rd of this year, and uh, Christian, welcome to the show, and where are you joining us from today? Thank you very much. Pleased to be here. Uh, I am joining you from Hornaskog, Sweden. Awesome. Uh, from my home. Uh, it's uh, amazing with this digital technology what we can do, right? I I learned how to do Zoom and we've done like we are in heaven. A lot of Zoom in the last, and it was my only way of contacting people in several months. But uh, yeah, yeah. But here we are, and. Uh, I launched yeah. a channel about a year ago and I'm trying to promote some bands and try to help people sell some uh, records and get their word out about their projects and welcome. I, I I listened to the new single and checked out the video today. I'm loving what I hear so far. And what can you tell us about the new album? Do you want to go over some of the tracks? Yeah, sure. Um, it is a natural continuation i think of what we have uh, been doing uh yeah, since we started really we have tried to develop our own sound uh, our original and unique style and i think we get uh, closer and closer to that uh for each release uh, that is one of mm -hmm. the most important things to us to keep you know developing as a band but yet keep the uh, original portrait essence uh, in there uh, without scratching things uh, too far you know uh, and i think we have succeeded with that the new album is um, full of uh, everything that we um, that we do all our trademarks there is the aggressive parts the longer mm -hmm. epic songs um, the melodies the um, Twin lead guitars and uh, heavy riffing. Uh, also, we have a new a bass player with us, or new. He's been in the band now for four years. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, first, uh, it's his first, the first album that he's uh, yes. recorded on, and he really adds a lot to the overall sound uh, with his uh, bass lines. So, um, yeah, I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. Um, it's uh, I don't know uh, to go deep into the songs. Uh, I feel it's better that people just uh, okay. just listen to it themselves because it's hard to you know describe uh, okay. songs when you have uh, written them uh, yourself. But uh, sure. it's a very uh, versatile album, I would say. It has uh, a lot of different uh, perspectives and angles in the song in terms of songwriting how many tracks are on the album chris uh we have eight tracks on the album okay uh, we recorded 11 songs and uh two of them will be bonus tracks on the uh box edition that metal blade is releasing okay uh there's a special seven inch only included in the box set uh oh, wow. but the song the songs will also be available on the uh, streaming services and such. But uh, okay. uh, if you want a physical uh, uh, seven inch, you get to buy the box. Well, um, or yeah, steal yeah. it from a record store. Don't, don't <laughs> steal it from my store, please. Uh, maybe a big corporate one or something. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Don't steal from uh, Rock Fantasy, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I also heard uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, Iron Maiden uh, broke the news that their album will be um, released on the same day, actually, September 3rd. Oh, yeah, that's correct. So, I actually uh, just watched the video that, for your new uh, song, The Phantom Adamer. Fathomer, yeah. And uh, actually, then I said, oh, there's a new Iron Maiden video. And so I actually just watched that, which was all animated. But uh, yeah, you guys are both coming out the same day. So. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people into the record store that they hopefully, if they are allowed to enter. <laughs> well, they're allowed to enter in New York still. So I don't know how okay. it is in your country yeah. right now. But uh, but yeah, we've been lucky so far. But And uh, keep our fingers crossed. But yeah, my store has been open since 
the June of 2020. And yeah, that's good. Pretty much business as usual, except, you know, with some restrictions and hard to get vinyl. It's very, a lot of stuff's just hard to get. Yeah. You know, but that's great. That's great. I mean, I remember when growing up, uh, and I mean, I still do like that to, you know, enter a, uh, a proper record. Re record store and buy the albums that look cool by their covers and you know, sure, build sure. build the expectations and so on. Uh, it's something I still do, and I think it's important in the portrait as well to um, you know give the whole uh, package, so to speak. It's important so, with the uh, the course. cover artwork and the lyrics and everything yes. at the same time. So to get yeah. the right listening experience. Who did the artwork for the for your album cover on this album? Uh, Adam Burke, uh, an American artist who also did uh, uh, the last uh, album that we did, uh, Burn the World. Uh, yeah. uh, we basically we just stumbled upon his things on the internet uh, and liked what we saw. And I sent him uh, uh, some vision of uh, what I had in mind and um, his that he could do it and then it took like yeah a couple of months and i didn't hear anything and then he said yeah now i'm starting and then a couple yeah. of days later he was done and we were overwhelmed by the result both with this one and the previous one so it's great uh, very good artistic guy to uh, work with and uh who produced the album and where was it recorded it was recorded in uh, Kristianstad, uh, the closest town to where we live, uh, in a studio called uh, JFK Studios. Okay. Uh, it's basically a local studio with very good equipment, very good uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, vibe there, and yep, yep, uh, yep. good engineers and stuff. And uh, it was uh, mixed by Tommy Hansen, a uh, Danish uh, guy who did uh, some old uh, Halloween albums. So okay, on. yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, we, we, we're happy about the end result. There are always things, you know, uh, when you think you're done and then you listen to it a couple of yeah. weeks later and you notice things that should have been done differently, but that's the way, that's the way of life, I guess, the curse of being a musician, I suppose. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, for viewers that aren't familiar with the band, and uh, are just discovering, maybe even from this episode, or being hearing about the new release. What can you tell us about the band? How long have you guys been around? Uh, how many uh, how many albums is this uh, going in? And a uh, little bit of uh, you know. Yeah, uh, we've been going around for uh, fifteen years now. Oh wow! Uh, and uh, this is our fifth album. Uh, the fourth one on uh, Metal Blade Records. Yeah. Uh, the style is, uh, I would say, it's uh, dark heavy metal. Uh, what we do is basically to um, uh, bring back the darkness to heavy metal. Uh, I think, in in a way, one can say that, or obviously, black metal. Uh, developed or evolved out of heavy metal mm. and now we're kind of taking that thing the black metal thing back into heavy metal again stealing it back you know um uh, so um yeah for people who uh, uh who are into you know epic uh, darker heavy metal i say portrait is the right band to check out Maybe you think I'm crazy, but when I first listened to, uh, revisited listening to you, as we knew I was going to do the interview, I, I could almost hear, you say black metal, but I almost hear like, like, like 80s, like, like Fate's Warning and stuff like that in yeah, my yeah. Head, very 80s metal style, where, yeah, you know, yeah. for viewers that are watching the show, I, I mean, I think it's a little bit something for everyone, but it's definitely a classic metal style, but it's done very well, in my opinion. But Thank I, you. I, I, I can hear like maybe even some of like Satan at times. Yeah. Or yeah. Face Warning and just some of the, you know, just old school metal with a dark flavor. Yeah. 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 
definitely. I mean, we we're all into you know new wave of British heavy metal and old trash and speed heavy metal yes. as well as progressive stuff. I mean, even some seventies and sixties stuff like King Crimson okay. and Ye- Genesis, Jethro Tull, uh, and I guess in one way everything that you listen to and enjoy. Uh, it's an inspirational source on some level, so uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the last tour you guys were on before the pandemic, or have you gotten to do any gigs since this mess we're living in and through, or whatever we're doing with them? Uh, um, our last tour was in 2018, okay. uh, actually, in uh, during the autumn, we had uh, we were the support act to uh, Ross the Boss on a European tour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ross the Boss, I've had on the channel before. We actually did a Man of War episode, and he was one of our, just a band panel where we were talking about our favorite Man of War moments, mm-hmm. and Ross was on. Of course, Ross is a native New Yorker also. Yeah. 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 Uh, he was an amazing guy. He was very friendly towards us and really great. I mean, it was uh, fantastic to you know, do our show and then uh, go yeah. and drink some beers and watch his, uh, their set uh, every night for uh, three weeks or whatever it was. You know, that was an um, amazing time. We also shared the tour bus and a lot of partying and stuff going on. So it was... Sure. Really good. I actually one of the last shows I saw before the lockdowns and everything came in was Ross the Boss. I saw him at the Chance Theater in Poughkeepsie. And uh, have you guys ever toured the United States? No, we haven't. We haven't. Yeah. No, okay. Unfortunately, not. We have, we have been in contact with some promoters, but it has never ended up in anything uh, serious. You know. Of course. So uh, I really hope. I mean, now uh, it's so hard to say because of the. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> Everything's yeah, day this... by day right now, and who knows? Like tours are being booked. First, I remember Europe was getting to go ahead for tours, and I have friends yeah, over yeah. here that were going over there. Now some of that's starting to fall apart. And the U.S. seems good now, and we still are. But every mm-hmm. day you put the news on, all you hear about is a new variant or this or that. And yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. very much so. But uh, I mean, we we want to get over there, and as soon as we can, we will of do course. all it takes. You know. And uh, some of your personal influences, I guess we kind of talked about a little bit, but what are some of your influences in music? I guess you might have answered this question because you already, you know, you already has kind of said Jethro Tull, everything, 60s, 70s, New we with British heavy metal. So maybe that question's been answered already. Yeah, I mean, most, the, uh, the most important stuff I would say is uh, the classic bands like Maiden, Priest, uh, yeah. Black Sabbath, Dio, um uh, accept merciful fate sure king diamond um yeah slayer i mean the old uh, trash and speed metal sure. uh and also as i mentioned some uh, black metal uh, yeah as well um uh, but uh, yeah also i mean i can inspiration is found in many things i mean i can read uh, read a book and hear you know in a soundtrack to the book in my head which fits yeah. as a song and stuff like that so uh, there are many sources of inspiration around but when it comes to bands it's yeah the classic bands really man of war as well of course man of war uh, yeah i didn't really hear man of war in your music but as my wife was watching the video with me an hour or so ago while we were having a little lunch and she was like i kind of think man of war and it's kind of funny because then we do the interview with deja vu and you opened up for cross the boss so. yeah <laughs> yeah she was right and yeah that's uh yeah maybe it's the bare breast of the singer maybe the look in the, in the yeah. castle and uh what what ends up filming the the video what? Sorry. Well, then the filming your new video, uh, what kind of work did you have to do to uh, film the latest, the latest video for the new album, Phantom? Uh, yeah, it was just uh, basically uh, it, it's our first music video actually that we have done. So it was a new thing for us, and we mm-hmm. uh, uh, we did it together with a guy called uh, Stefan Johansson, who has been our band photographer uh, for quite some years, and. Uh, we have the same taste in like 
uh, movies and music also obviously and uh, uh, when we were out and taking photos for the um, new album we uh, talked uh, about doing a music video at the same location uh, yeah it's just basically a forest with some really nice areas and we got yeah evil dead vibes and stuff like that <laughs> there so uh, yeah we talked about it and i came up with uh, like a script uh, for it that he liked as well so we will actually yeah. release one more video i think in beginning of august in a couple of weeks okay uh, which is a continuation of the the thrilling story in the in the video that you have seen so it's uh, to be continued there interesting that sounds cool and uh we'll, we, we'll be looking for that mm -hmm. and uh do you have any current plans for 2021 it's really hard to say anything but do you have any plans on any shows or any streaming events or anything else we can inform the viewers with? yeah um we will uh, book shows in sweden this autumn because uh or we try our best to do it. We don't really know how things will look this autumn, but now, sure. uh, at least as it is now, it would be possible. But we want to do it after the album is out, obviously. Yeah. Um, so we will see. But we'll start in Sweden because here it's for us. It's easy to keep track on exactly what's going on uh, day to day with the rest restrictions and so on. And then we'll we'll just take it from there. We are working with um, a German uh, booking agency, uh, Dragon Productions. Uh, okay. So uh, I hope uh, hope we will be able to um, uh, to do and do shows in other countries as well. We will do all that it takes, uh, of, of course. course. Yes, and uh, I have one more question for you. It's a question I ask all my guests on the show, and uh, the album yeah. that changed your life, and one album. One album. Um, it's a tough one, usually. Yeah. Especially yeah. But uh, I would say uh, Master of Puppets by Metallica. Okay. That was I was a big Metallica fan when I was young, and it was the first uh, first band that I got into for real. So that is the album for me. I actually, speaking of Metallica, I actually got to see my first live gig here in Middletown. That we have our uh, an our, the, the county fair going on, and they booked a bunch of tribute bands. Last Thursday, I finally got to have a beer and watch a band play. It was a Metallica tribute called Battery. And I okay. A Pink Floyd one on Saturday, and I'm going to see a Rush tribute tomorrow. So, good. See the bands while we can, you know, and hopefully things are going to keep heading in the right direction. But uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Definitely. Anything else you'd like to add to the interview today? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just uh, buy the new album when you're going into the shop and for buying the new Iron Maiden album. So take yes. two. <laughs> and of course, you can also order these from Metal Blade. And uh, yeah. and of course, you guys have a website that you can be found on the World Wide Web, I'm sure. Yes. And uh, I will put all the links to their to their to your social media and your website in the description for the video. And I'd like to thank you for your time today. Thank and you very much. Wish you all a well and a great new release. And hopefully go, everybody goes out and supports the band and buys some merch from the website and whatever else you can do yeah. during these times, you know. Exactly. And please all good. To hit subscribe to the channel and comment, leave some comments and check out the band, man, because they're very talented. And I, I was enjoying listening to it. So I can't wait to hear the whole thing when it comes out. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Peace thank out. Thank you. Bye.